Good day, panelists. I am Patricia Itubog from Zamboanga Peninsula Polytechnic State University. And here is my semi-detailed lesson plan, Math 11, with the topic, Trigonometry. Specifically, this topic will tackle about six trigonometric functions. Allow me to start. Good morning, class. Before we go into start, let's have a short prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, class. Good morning. Before you take your seat, pick up the pieces of paper and settle yourself. Is there anyone absent from this class? Oh, I'm so glad that no one is absent today. So now, let us start to our discussion. Oh, by the way, kindly pass your assignment to the center aisle and then forward. In one, two, three. Thank you. Do you still remember our last topic? Oh yes, Roberto, precisely. It's all about triangle. In this morning class, we are going to have a new lesson. Are you excited? Great, but before that, we are going to have a games. Are you ready, class? Great. So what kind of triangle is this? Yes, Venancio. Right, right triangle. How about this? Yes, Roberto. Right. It is isosceles. How about this one? Yes, Laika. You're right. It is equilateral. How about this one? Yes, Roberto. You're right. It is acute. And lastly, how about this one? Yes, Roberto again. Okay, very good. It is Scalene. Oh, lastly. Yes, Venancio. Oh, very good. It is Oblique. Very good, guys. Now, to formally start our lesson, I want you to read our learning objectives. Learning objectives define the six main trigonometric functions. Solve the problem involving the trigonometric function. And lastly, elucidate the significance of the trigonometric function in a real-life situation. The six trigonometric function. There are six trigonometric functions of an angle commonly used in trigonometry. There are sine with abbreviate of sine, S-I-N, cosine with abbreviation of C-O-S, cos, tangent, tan, T-A-N, cotangent, cot, second, sec, S, E, C, and cos second, C, S, C. You know, with the use of our triangle or right triangle, we can identify our six trigonometric functions. But before that, let's first define what is opposite hypotenuse and adjacent. So as we look at our right triangle, we can identify our hypotenuse, opposite, and adjacent. So this long side is what we call hypotenuse. And this side is what we call adjacent. And this side, what we call opposite. So now, how can we identify our opposite and adjacent? So our adjacent is a non-hypotenuse side that is next to a given angle. So this side given angle. Well, the opposite is across from a given angle which is this. So 
of this are the formula on how to get our six trigonometric function. Sine with opposite all over hypotenuse, our cosine which is adjacent all over hypotenuse, our tangent which is adjacent all over opposite, cosecant which is hypotenuse all over opposite, secant hypotenuse all over adjacent and cotangent is adjacent all over opposite. So, I will give an example for you to understand. Example number one. We have right triangle and the given is four, three. So, the missing angle is the hypotenuse. In order to get our hypotenuse, we should use the Pythagorean Theorem. So, the Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared is 3 squared. B squared is 4 squared equals C squared. So, 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16 equals C squared. So, 9 plus 16 equals 25. Copy the C squared. So, in order to cancel the square, we should eliminate the square. We take square root of both sides of the equation. So, cancel the square and square root. Square root of 25 is 5. So, C equals to 5. So, our hypotenuse equals to 5. Very good. Number 1. As you can see here, the formula, the sine is opposite all over hypotenuse. Sine theta is 4 feet. The cos or cosine, cosine theta is 3 feet. Because it is adjacent and hypotenuse, the tan theta is 4, 3. The cosecant theta is 5 over 4. The second theta is 5 over 3. And the cotangent theta is 3, 4. In example number 2, we have the same as number 1, but the missing angle is your right. It is opposite. So again, in order to get the missing angle, we should use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared is 8 squared plus b squared equals 17 squared. So 8 squared equals 64 plus b squared equals 289 because it is 17 squared. So transpose the 64 and it will become negative 64. So 289 minus 64, it will give you 225. So bring down the B squared equals 225. 25. So, in order to eliminate the square, we should, okay, very good, square root both sides, cancel, cancel, and then square root of 225 is 15. So, our opposite is 15. Very good. Our trigono six trigonometric function, we should follow the given formula. So, the sine theta is 15 over 17. The cosine theta is 8 over 17. The tangent theta is 15 over 8. The cos cosecant theta is 17 over 15. Our second theta is 17 over 8. And, then, and our cotangent theta 
is 18, I mean 8 over 15. Our number 3 is different to our previous examples. So, we have the 42, 38 degree, and X. So, in order to solve this example, we have first identify what kind of trigonometric function we use. So, it is, uh, we have 42 and X. This side is what we call, okay, very good, opposite. And this side is, okay, very good. It is adjacent. So, look, tangent, adjacent, and opposite. So, can use tangent 38 degree equals x all over 42. Next step is we will going to multiply both sides by 42. Multiply by 42. Okay. So cancel, cancel. We will going to have and we will have x equals 42 tan 38 degree. So 42 tan 38 degree in calculator, we have x equals 32.814. Very good. We have the last but not the least, our number 4 example. So we have the problem solving. Read, you are sitting on the top of a building and you look down to see your friend on the street. If the angle of depression to your friend is 57 degree and the building is 200 feet tall, how far away the bottom of the building is your friend? In our last example, we can use the Sokatoa in order to solve the problem. So, we have now the tan 57 degree equals 200 all over x. So we can use the cross multiplication. We have now the x tan 57 all, all, all over tan 57 degree equals 200 over tan 57 degree. So cancel the tan 57 degree. Cancel. And, and now we will we have x equals 200 all over tan 57 degree. And if you're going to calculate it using the calculation calculator, the answer is x equals 129.881. Or we will go, if we will go into round of it, it will give very good, 130. Great. I hope you learned something. So learners, I want you to do it on your own by answering this activity. You can put it on a one whole sheet of paper and I will going to give you a four, I mean, a 45 minutes for you to answer. And your 45 minutes start now. You have five seconds to answer your activity. Five, Four, three, two, one. Time's up. Pen's up. Okay. Finish or not finish, pass your paper to the center aisle and then forward. In one, two, three. Okay. Very good. Just keep in touch in your Google Classroom because I will going to give you an assignment. Okay? Very good. So, let's call it a day. Goodbye, class.